Hi, this is Francisco Kerbari, and um, I just want to explain some of the reasons why I switched from GNOME to KDE Plasma after running GNOME for a long, long time. Uh, I'm, I'm going to focus just on a few reasons. Uh, I believe the first reason was because I had to install several extensions under GNOME to make it function the way that I wanted to function and uh, and that was a mess when GNOME upgraded to a new version some of my extensions stopped working and uh, one of the extensions would crash when I attached the, uh, uh, an external monitor to my notebook and uh, so on but um, let me move on this is uh, I'm going to move on to a second reason. This is a Dell XPS 13 notebook which has a high DPI screen. I believe the resolution is 3200 by 1800. And under GNOME, I can only scale displays by integer factors. For instance, the default was 2. And everything looked too big for my taste. And that's my understanding, I may be wrong, but that's my understanding that you can only s safely scale displays by integer factors. And uh, that's not the case with KDE Plasma. I can come here, display and monitor, scale, and then I can scale my display by a non-integer factor. You see here 1.5 and everything looks exactly the way that I want it to look. So that's another reason. High DPI support and fine tuning and so on. Another reason is, is Dolphin. In my opinion, Dolphin is probably the best file manager out there. There are several things that I like. For instance, I can press F4 and then it opens an integrated terminal. F3, it gives me gives me split view so that I can copy and drag files and so on and but something that I really like about Dolphin let me is this I am a I do a lot of photography so I have to deal with uh, raw image files that are produced by several different cameras Nikon, Canon, Fujifilm and so on and um, I need to have previews terminal previews for those files. And in GNOME to have terminal preview previews for raw files, raw image files for all camera manufacturers, I had to do a lot of tweaking and use UF raw batch and so on. And uh, that's not the case here. Here it's pretty simple. I ran XFC for a brief period of time and when I was using XFC I was able to get um, thumbnail previews for raw images for most cameras but not Fujifilm cameras. Those files that uh, have RAF extensions. And here in KDE it's really really simple. You just click here configure Dolphin and you go to general previews and you activate this option here raw photo camera files that's all it takes and uh, let me come here to this folder and I'm going to activate preview this is something that I really like I can choose for which folders I have the I want the thumbnail previews activated I'm gonna click here preview and it, as you can see I get um, thumbnail previews for those two raw image files that were produced with a Fujifilm camera no further tweaking necessary and that's something that I think it's great works out of the box by the way something that um, I like uh, in Dolphin is this I can right click on any file and um, I can uh, come here, right click, and I after I right click on a file, I can just uh, let me see if I let 
to enable Bluetooth here. I can right click on a file and then I can send uh, the file via Bluetooth to another notebook or to a phone, a cell phone, a tablet, to any device. And that's something that's great and I was unable to do that with Nautilus under GNOME unless I did some further tweaking and we are in the 21st century people who expect to be able to right click on a file and send the file via Bluetooth to another device it's as simple as that and since I'm talking about Bluetooth let me show you something here let me show you how I use Bluetooth I I like to have the files that I transfer automatically accepted from trusted device and um, I want the files to be saved under, not in the downloads folder but in the Bluetooth folder that I create and as you can see it's very easy to do that here in KDE Plasma and in order to accomplish that with GNOME I had to install an extra program which was Blueman and then I have to do that via Blueman. So most things work out of the box with KDE Plasma. I need no extensions. I, I even don't need widgets or anything. I can use one or two widgets if I wish, but I don't need to use them for KDE Plasma to be functional. GNOME is an excellent uh, desktop environment. It's very pretty, it's uh, very modern, and sometime down the road I may go back to GNOME, but for now I'm very happy with uh, KDE Plasma.